Back inside Royal LePage Place, Trevor Miller here with you after a Game 7 victory for the West Kelowna Warriors over the Cranbrook Bucks. 5-1 our final score here from Royal LePage Place tonight. Let's take a look at how things happened and how things percolated at Royal LePage Place on this Tuesday night. It was the Warriors who were all over the Bucks in the early going. Elliot Compton with a shot off the post. That came in the opening period in which they outshot Cranbrook 21-5 and took a 1-0 lead with 19 seconds to go in the period. Brennan Nelson, the Warrior captain, with his first goal of the series, gets the puck in the right circle and fires past the glove side of Carter Captain. Dylan Crayer with the feed from the left wing side to the right for Nelson. Jack Farrell drawing the second assist. And with 19 seconds to go in the period, the Warriors jumped ahead and took a 1-0 lead in the hockey game in which they were outstanding in the opening period of this game on this night as they were throughout the duration of 60 minutes. West Cologne on their first power play attempt of the hockey game was able to take a 2-0 lead and it's Vigo Nordstrom from the right face-off circle. Reed as he put that slap shot on a one-timer through the legs of the goaltender in Carter Captain and the goal coming for Nordstrom who picks up the marker his third of the series with Jackson Kierkostas and Trent Wilson drawing the assists and the Warriors jumped ahead two to nothing on their 10th power play goal of the series. Moments after that at 1446, it was the Warriors on a rush up ice and Dylan Crayer, the 16 year old forward playing in his first playoffs, playing in his first game seven Moves to the slot, drifts to the right circle, and finds room past the blocker side of Carter Captain. Crayer's second of the playoffs. Carter Oakenfold and Jack Farrell will draw the assists on the goal that push West Kelowna ahead by a 3 to nothing score. Into the third period we go, and the Warriors with a great look, or sorry, in the second period, the Warriors with a good look to end the period. Jack put him off the crossbar. That kept the game 3 to nothing. Into the third, where the Warriors kept piling on and getting a 4-0 lead. Felix Caron is fifth of the playoffs at 4.30 of the third period as Caron took a pass from Trent Wilson from below the goal line to the left wing side as Wilson. Able to throw a pass the glove side of Carter. Captain from Jack Pridham and Wilson gets the Caron goal at 4.30 to make it a 4-1 game. Cranbrook with life in the third on a centering feed by Donovan Frias, chipped up over the net by Julian Frias over the glove side of Matthew Delarusso. 13.03 the time of the goal. Julian Frias with a second goal of the series, and that pushed the lead for the Warriors down to 4-1. To before it was the Warriors who got an empty net goal from Jackson Kierkostas and celebrating in their own end. West Kelowna, game seven victory. 5-1 the final score and advance on to round two of the BC Hockey League playoffs.